That's because South Africa is one of the most accomplished teams on the two midfield, and the speed comes from Stephen White. Now here's Uruguay. The referee is Akahisa Asso, from who will be one of the stars in this matchup, not the tournament. Start here last year as he led them to victory. Cecil Africa, the international rugby board judged his form last year as good enough to make him their player of the year. So a rare appearance on the International Rugby Board HSBC Sevens World Series for Uruguay against a high-ranking South Africa. And you'll see some of the leading players on the world tour in this fixture. And there's our first look at Cecil Africa. And number two for the South Africans is uh, Johannes Prinsloo, known universally as Boom, which is a kind of a reflection on the way he plays the yeah. game. Direct, and that's going to be a key as we've been talking about a slightly narrower pitch here so the direct play the patient play from south africa but not finding any holes at the moment in the uruguayan defense they're a big defensive team uruguay they they tackled vigorously they were fourth in the uh, very competitive pan american games competition which a canada won from the usa and argentina took the bronze medal in, in guadalajara mexico last year Kyle Brown is the South African captain running it wide. There is Africa, and now it's out to Cornell Hendricks. Look at the speed of which they uh, they move the ball beautifully. With big, long, swinging passes. And in rugby, it's an old adage that the speed of the ball always beats the speed of any man. It does, and especially when the legs get tired, the duration of the sevens tournament, they've created a hint of an overlap. Good inside pass. And that's Branko de Priya to... Cecil Africa and you saw in a flash there what these two brilliant young players in the midfield the look-alike players the quicker like players bring to the Springbok effort try for Cecil Africa well no stranger to scoring tries and he got the reward but it was Dupria who saw the Uruguayan defense was stretched stretched inside good ruck ball here there was the overlap and as such the Uruguayan defender was out of shape you see number five not able to or cheesy not able to keep his shape and the inside ball too much for the Uruguayan cover. Well, we look at the uh, makeup of the Springbok team and we see uh, Branco de Priya here, just a, a, a real little guy, uh, about less than 70 kilograms. And then uh, Cecil Africa, 70 kilograms. And yet this is a rugby game made for the big men and big muscle. But it's a, it's a beautiful game for kids of all shapes and sizes. Isn't it? If you haven't watched much Sevens rugby before, he's a great man to start with because it's so exciting. You never know what's going to happen. And he's even doing the kickoffs here. The restart is so important in the Sevens game. 7-0, Seven South Africa lead. Now, they are the defending champions here in Las Vegas, but they haven't really had a very uh, successful tour so far here in the 2011-12 series. Haven't won out of the first four tournaments. Running with the ball now is Agostino Machia for Uruguay. And back goes number five, Bacchesi. And here's them uh, with some nice aggressive play and keeping control nicely. They have it with Hernan Pintos. Oh, a bit nice. wavered on the pass. It connects to Brown, the South African captain. Here they come again. Looming hut. Oh, over goes uh, Prince Lou. And that's uh, the ball spilled forward. And uh, Big Boom is up early. But that was rather uh, an unsightly tumble. It was. And I think it was Federico Favaro who was actually out of play. So it was really coming from a blind position. He comes in low. He tries to wrap his arms. I think we'll give him credit. It's just that he was completely unsighted and boom couldn't couldn't see it coming and uh actually it's favaro who's got the worst of this the shoulder he's well off the play at waver on the sideline and uh, he came back in i think the south africans thought they had a three-man overlap which was quickly snuffed out okay. seen coming right from his blind side there's no way he could get the ball federico favaro who's here last year from the old christians club in montevideo and this is, uh, okay. we know this, uh, Gareth, from the joy we've had of uh, following Time this game. Uh, it's actually here. Rodrigo Martinez who took the thump there. Uh, it's a game of explosion and collision, isn't it? And so these things happen. No pads, no hit, no well, helmets in this game. This crowd here in Las Vegas used to helmets and pads, but Touch. not the case. And uh, you saw him actually sort of apologize. He knew it was a big hit, but it was fair, I think. And Albanel is number four. 
He's a notice good pressure defense from the South Africans, taking the space away. Uruguay really having nowhere to play. Turning, turning defense into attack. Yeah. Okay. This is Kyle Brown with the uh, the ball. He's the South African captain, has been so for a number of seasons. Now let's see what they uh, cook up from this set play. 2.45 to play in the first half. There they are, great combinations with uh, Frankie Horn that burst in the past, which looks like it was going between Africa and Dupria. But the Uruguay defense was good on that occasion. South Africa had to commit extra defenders. Good counter rucking from the Uruguayans. Dupria. Here's the first look at Stephen Hunt. He's very quick out on the right wing side. But good defense again. Number seven working hard is Fabaro. Hands. Hands in the ruck. Referee saying there, hands in the ruck. The ruck is formed with bodies over the ball. He must leave it. Time off. A little bit of a break here. There's a sub. It's okay. Brown will come have over to set up the set piece move. Now they'll have a different combination here they between do. the two great midfielders. Here they go. They leave out Africa again. Lovely set move. And Hendricks, Cornell Hendricks scores. Well, Keith, you watch the movement here. They're actually stacked too deep. They did it on the previous move. But Hendricks is in the back line. So as a defender, as a Uruguayan, you don't know who to mark. And you see it goes wide, and he comes in from a deep position and finds the hole. Good execution of a basic, simple play. They've worked for hours on the training pitch. He's one of the newer members to the squad, Cornell Hendricks. Very big and very well set up uh, seven scene in South Africa with a new state-of-the-art uh, training centre at Stellenbosch, which for many years was the, the home of Danny Craven and uh, the, the, the great South African rugby story. And now it's a state-of-the-art training centre for seven and uh, dozens, three dozen uh, contracted sevens players in South Africa as they look towards 2016. Seconds remaining in first, the first half as Cecil Africa kicks off. If you're watching around the world. It's a beautiful name, isn't it, for a man from South Africa to have. And there he is with the ball again to Hendricks, who's just scored the try. Tenacious defence again by Uruguay. And in particular, Martinez, who's had a good first half. And number five is Bacchesi. Now, will they try a set move? They've gone for the tap and go. Very good handling by South Africa in this first half. Fast and wide and slick. And referee says fine there. as a good uh, take through by Zanagnani. Well, oh, saying the tackle didn't release the South African player on the ground. A couple of harsh calls against Uruguay. So here they go into the set play position. This is where you say, are they going left, right? Uh, Missed passes. Who gets to be the, the attacking force? It could be a try run in here. Let's see what they've cooked up. A switch to Africa. Beautiful handling. In pass. That is lovely play. What a slick outfit they look. Last year's winners here in Vegas. Coach Paul True will be delighted with that. You could see again trying to manipulate those defenders in the blue jerseys. He had so many options. And in the end, it was the inside pass again. Simple skills, well executed. And there's nothing Uruguay can do. There's so much space to cover. And Cecil Africa knowing exactly the line to run where the cover could not get across from Uruguay. Simple stuff. It's like anything, Keith, when you're doing something well at the really at the top world-class level. It looks so simple, but there's hours to make this happen. And it's what they're doing with the ball, with their shoulders, to force those Uruguayans to step out of a good defensive and position. Branco Dupria takes over the kicking and lands the conversion for a 21-0 lead to South Africa.